Hello everyone, welcome to Dr. Little Ling's YouTube channel. In this series of tutorials, the fantastic SPSS. This episode, I'm going to introduce how to manually input data in SPSS. It includes to introduce types of data, levels of measurement, and how to define variables in SPSS. Let's begin. There are four steps of manually inputting data in SPSS. Step one, number your questionnaires. Step two, create a code book. Step three, define variables in SPSS. And the final step is input your data in SPSS. Once you got the result of your questionnaires, you first assign numbers in order to different questionnaires. The second step will involve creating a code book that can transform everything in the questionnaires into numbers, which can be identified and analyzed in SPSS. In the rest of this video, I'm going to go into details about data types, how to define variables in SPSS, and how to input your data there. So there are two major types of data. The first one is qualitative data. The second one is the quantitative data or scale data. In qualitative data, you also see two types of data under. One is nominal data, another one is ordinal data. Nominal data represent different categories, but different categories are equally just meaning names or labels. It doesn't carry any weight or order. Ordinal data is categories with order, but the distance between orders is not clear. There are also two types of data under quantitative data. While well, in interval variable, the space between numbers has meaning, and zero doesn't mean zero. One Example is temperature. Zero degree doesn't mean there is no temperature. Ratio data is actually interval data that starts with absolute zero. So here zero means nothing or none. For instance, number of books. When there's zero number of books, there, that means zero book. I use this explanation um, photo to further explain the difference between these four different levels of le uh, measurement for you. Nominal variable, they carry the meaning of names or labels. One such example is job types. The job of marketing and the job of research doesn't carry weight. They are equal. Ordinal data, it has different categories, but it also has order in different categories. One example is drug additional levels. It can be low, median, and high. Between median and high, there's difference. Median is lower than high. But the distance between median and high is not clear. Interval, 
variable. One such example is temperature. So you have minus 2 degree, 0 degree, 2 degree. Where ratio is really interval with an absolute 0 as the beginning. One example is number of books. When it comes to define variables in SPSS, let me jump to the interface of SPS, SPSS to further explain. So the name, as we explained in previous tutorial, we go to variable view to define variables in SPSS. Each row represents one individual variable, while each column represents different characteristics of that variable. Let's say the row 1 is a variable age category. The type of it is a numeric. The width is 4. We don't give the decimal to age, so we leave it as 0. The label is really the name of that variable. But the variable will display as age cat in the data view, as you see here, instead of age category. So age category is really for the person who input the data or who come to read the data as reference. The answer to this variable can be found or the value to this variable can be found under values where you can define different types of um, values bears to that variable. For instance, let's say 31 to 35 as 4, then click add. Okay. Here measure, that's where you define the levels of measurement. Here H is scale. To be more accurate is ratio. But here in SPSS, interval and ratio, they are combined into scale. The row really means you will use this variable as independent variable or dependent variable or both or none of it. After we define the variables, we go to the data view and just need to input the number under the variables. That's all for today's tutorial. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please kindly click thumb up or find a way to follow my YouTube channel, Dr. Little Lin, or follow the Twitter hashtag, Dr. Little Lin. I will see you in the next episode in the fantastic SPSS.